Greetings, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video, you will hear the building blocks of scales. Once you hear this, and once you learn this, then you can practice doing the fundamental little building blocks that will create beautiful, lyrical, flowing lines of music for all of your classical guitar or fingerstyle pieces. If you enjoy this, please subscribe to this channel. So what forms a good scale? Well, to begin with, it all begins with one note. Journey of a thousand miles, yes, begins with one step. Same exact thing with this. First off, we just have one note. So whenever, before we start practicing any sort of scales or anything that's with the intention of playing melodic lines smoothly, which is kind of the purpose of playing scales on the classical guitar, is connecting the notes well and getting them to flow from one to the next, getting the speed, uh, the tone quality, all that kind of stuff. This all begins with one note. And so then we can start with just one note and listen to it, listen to the sound quality. We can listen to the connection. Is there a big space? Is there a space there or is it smooth and connected? How is our hand moving, right? We can think of all of our, our fundamentals, right? How am I moving my hands, my fingers? What's my sound? How do my nails sound if I use nails, which you don't have to use fingernails, but if you do, then are they scratchy or are they smooth? And so uh, are they moving through the string very well? This all starts with one nail. We can also think about, am I, is my left hand in a really nice C shape? So with just one note, we can touch in on everything that we know about playing guitar and just boil it down to that. Then, once we've done a few of those, you don't have to spend a ton of time on this, but it's great to take the chance to review everything. Well, then we can add in, you got it, another note. And just go back and forth between two notes. Now we have synchronization of the hands. We're synchronizing the hands. We're keeping our left hand positioning and form really nice. We're looking at the curve of our fingers, right? You can feel and see if, are you touching other strings along with this or are you making a nice tunnel? How is your thumb in position to your, your left hand fingers? And how is your I and M alternation in your right hand? So every scale contains these it contains playing more than one note on the same string. This gives us that synchronization of the hands, everything going on. So all the fundamentals. The next thing to add in is a string crossing, or you can do three notes if you'd like to, as much as you like, but keep it easy and fluid. Try as much ease in your hands throughout this entire process as you can possibly have, because that's how you want it when you're playing fast. So then, with a string crossing, work into a string crossing. And get your string crossing technique really down. I like to just move the entire hand down in space and let the thumb trail behind on the string behind it, the one playing. Whatever way that you play, now you have a string crossing. Then add another note. And then little patterns, however you like at that point. Up a fret. The key to this is listening intensely to every single note so that we don't get accented notes, notes popping out. We don't get buzzy notes. I'm trying to buzz a note here. Try to get everything consistent and clean, and this is a listening game, but a gentle listening game. Don't tense up and grit your teeth and everything to play. Instead, ha, ah, much nicer. And get this flowing and as smooth as you possibly can so that when you're playing faster stuff, then you can bring that to it. And when you have longer patterns, then you can just think of it as, oh, it's just these little fragments, these little snippets of scales that I've been practicing, 
just strung together. There's that little bit, then that little bit, and then this just puts them together. So this is scale fragments. You just make up patterns. There is no special form, one, three, one, two, it's the best one. There's nothing like that. Just play one note, then add another note, then add another note or put a string crossing into it. And play just at the speed at which you're comfortable. I'm playing at this speed, I'm comfortable here. Um, your speed might be slower or it might be faster, but probably it's just nice and slow. Go slow enough so that you can keep track of everything. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. Practice some scale fragments. They're so good for your hands. Um, a little bit of this each day, it just yields compound interest over time. It really adds up and really cleans up everything that you play, even your, your right hand pattern work, even though you're just practicing scales with it. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you soon. Take care.